chat. That's right. Yes. I am, I am. You're the best audience ever. Part of being an adult is learning to say <laughs> audience. I'm sorry, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, but did you know that there's one word that can actually ruin the best of apologies? In a recent New York Times column, writer Jane Brody said that using the word but, right? Uh -huh. As in, I'm sorry, but, uh -huh. makes your whole apology invalid. She said the best apologies are short and don't include explanations that can undo them. Mm -hmm. So you guys agree? Yeah. All right, well, our audience is on board. What do you ladies think? Do you think the word but can ruin <laughs> apologies? Yes. Yeah. But, <laughs> oh, shoot. I think there's a way to say it where you're still meaning but. Yes. But you don't say but. I like to say when I actually don't think that I did anything wrong, but I want to apologize. You still say a but, though. Listen, so, exactly. So, give me so an example. instead of saying, I'm sorry, but, I say, I just really want to tell you right now that I am so sorry that you felt that I was being, you get it? Ooh, you get it, that ooh. you felt. Oh, we caught it. You felt, I ain't do it. But, but now you're you apologizing it. for their feelings, though. But, th but here's no, the thing. No. You are, that's You are. But the, look, this is kindness, okay? <laughs> 101, you just be like, listen, I just, but you are genuinely sorry that yeah, they're feeling for her. Yeah, I think you hurt. mean your butt yes. when you say butt, right? Yes. So you're but not I don't just say saying butt. butt. I say, I'm really sorry, I, I will really be like, yo, honest to God, I'm so sorry that you felt that I was being disrespectful See, or rude. I absolutely had I no intention. That. I love that. I, I had no that. intention of hurting you. I, like I had that. no intention of being rude. Okay, everybody but in I'm this not audience. I'm going to say I'm sorry because I was rude to you if I wasn't. I know, but everybody, you guys heard that when Adrian apologized, for the way you were feeling, that's that ain't correct. an apology. I feel sorry for you. That that's a low she key shady way. That that's your problem, boo. Exactly. No. no. Yes. She's just saying that she she's just being considerate. Yeah. She's realizing like, oh snap, I didn't mean to offend you or upset you, so I'm going but to say sorry. Saying, but. And, just, or not just apologizing at all. So I appreciate that you were considerate you. and then you you apologized in your best I'm way. Eating. Yeah, because yeah, you know, you know, I really eating. didn't mean to do anything to you. Yeah. Or That's like you apologizing for saying something funny, but the other person didn't find it funny. Then you what could, exactly. say, look, I'm really sorry that I hurt your feelings. And instead of saying, but I never meant it to come out with it, you I say, think, I'm really sorry that your feelings were hurt. That was never my intention. I and love that's that. genuine and I real. I think that's considerate. I, I really I think I think the reason I why is I hear this. When I think that when a person apologizes, they are acknowledging and owning part of the fault for you feeling a certain type of way, saying, I made you feel that way. When you say, I'm sorry, you felt that way. That's saying, I say, I that ain't so my problem. That that's I apologize that I made you feel. That's okay, I really, really apologize if at any point I made you feel uncomfortable yesterday, or if I made you feel like I was disrespectful, I am genuinely See, so sorry. See, that's different. Now, what you're saying, I can accept, but, but it, uh, the other she way, no, because it was more like, I'm sorry you felt that way. Yes. That, you see that's, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah but I'm sorry felt... if, I, if I made you that's feel that different. way. That's, that's different. different. That's different. Well, see, okay. I knew, I get it, but I knew what you were, I knew where you were coming from. But it's from. no but. It's yes. the wording, you can word something. It's like Tam always says, it's not what you say, it's, it's how, how you say, say it. it. Exactly. So people can see but yes. as rude. So you just gotta work around it. So say, I am sorry if I made you feel. That, now yes. that's Because better. again, that doesn't say I actually really did what you said I did. Then you say I just it, made I'm, you feel. Then it's, saying that I'm sorry you felt. Yes. See, it's just that okay. it. Okay. Yo, we are such women. This is so women. Dudes would never have to deal with this. If you said, I'm sorry to a dude, he'd be like, cool, let's get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But a woman, you gotta be like, this is what I meant. No, but she you had you a butt. But felt. you said you were sorry. No, I said I was sorry for the way you were feeling. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, I'm it's sorry so that I'm a woman, okay? Right? It's so crazy. I'm that's sorry if at any point in time, Jeannie, I made you feel like I that's, was a woman. That's different, yeah. No, that's still different. Yeah, no. that's amazing. What? That's amazing. No, I'm you confused. still said it wrong. No, no, she oh. said it good there. No, she didn't say. She said, if I made you feel. See, she's still putting the blame on you. But if she I made... Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> she's saying she's sorry. That's all I care about. You just say, I'm sorry, Jeannie. That's yes, it. Yes. Don't, yes. All that other stuff, see, because like if so I if I mad... just walked in a room and you were really mad at me and I just walked in, I just went, Lonnie, look at me. Look at me. No, look, not in the thing. In <laughs> me. a Betty one. And me, me, in person. I just ate tacos. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, look. Lonnie, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
make you feel better? I always feel or the need I have to explain. Me too. Lonnie, we just kind of had something like this happen where I said something I was really direct towards Lonnie and Lonnie didn't like it. So I went into her room and I said, oh my gosh, you know, sometimes me being direct can come off as uh, harsh. Harsh. Or, yeah. Yes. And I realized that. So I knocked on her door, said, hello, Lonnie, can I come in? She said, no. And I said, <laughs> you did? Lonnie, I did. yes. I did. Uh, and I just, I walked in, but I did have this, in anyway. this entire, I sure did, because I love her. I had this entire explanation. Now, did that, did that bother you? But or? you never, you, you, you gave the explanation first. first. I did. You know, did. See, that's what I'm saying. And then once you gave the explanation, you said, and for that, I am sorry. I did. That's, okay. that, and that's, that's the I difference. Did. Yeah, I would have walked in and said, look, if I made you feel some type of way, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, that's, that's, still, that yeah. that's good. See, you're learning, Munchkin. Yes, yes. Look at you. Slowly <laughs> but surely. Okay. Slowly but surely. It's well, important. Yeah. Well, one thing that may cause couples to argue is the first time they move in together. Oh, in God. fact, a recent Women's Health article hmm. detailed the 13 emotional stages of sharing a bathroom oh, with a guy. Hell. It says what many start out with, romant with a romantic bubble bath potential could turn into a nightmare. Now, you may soon come to realize your man doesn't know how to clean a toilet, he's <laughs> incapable of putting the seat down, and that he wants to have shower sex while you're trying to shave your legs. Oh. Now, I'm very happy I'm single. See, this is why You're I keep lucky. two bathrooms, I all right? I You're keep lucky. two. That's yeah, I have multiple bathrooms. But see, I, but see, this is the thing, though. You're married. It's different. Yeah. When I'm single, when my nightly guest comes, it's like, <laughs> if he tries to go in my room, I, 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 <laughs> That's not bathroom. your bathroom. Got it. But oh. you have husbands. Yeah. Now, your yes. husbands, that's something different. Yes. How do you handle your husbands? Do they have, like, little habits? I'm concerned. Gotta get too gross. I'm oh. concerned for the audience's reaction. They said sharing a bathroom with a guy. All you guys were like, <sighs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Who y'all be living with? Oh. But do they do Wait, things like leave you, up the, the seat? Are what? you oh, saying yeah. that Israel You don't have any of these problems? Have, I'm not being funny. I've now lived... It's just the third... That sounds really bad. Go, oh, Cal. No. Okay. So it's just the third man I've ever lived with. Yeah. And I, I can be OCD yeah. about being clean. You're very clean. Yeah. I'm so my house is like immaculate, immaculate at all times. Like yeah. I'm freaky about that. Like the one thing I ask when I get home is the house clean, so he makes sure to clean up for me and all That's that kind of nice. stuff. That's nice. But I will say this. I, I dealt with extremes. Oh. First boyfriend was OCD. Second boyfriend was kind of on the messy, dirty side. Okay. So I would just clean up after him, and I actually don't mind that because I really enjoy cleaning. Me too. Yeah, so it doesn't bother me, but Israel <laughs> is super duper neat. Okay, I thank hold God. Because he likes, you know the kind. Yes. You, he yes. likes Israel's nice clean man. Yes. That's yes. nice. He likes to keep things really clean. He buys candles. He's like into oh, wow. it. Wow. I can safely I say I think that. we married me men that are generally clean. I think a lot of men are generally clean. They pick up after themselves. They might have like maybe a little pieces of laundry here and there, but they're not dirty people. Yeah, my husband's not nasty. Yes. He's messy. Yes. There's yes. a difference. Yes. There's, there's seen dirty yes. and yes. messy. But yes. I believe. Big after as many years as Freddie and I have been married, there's a moment where you get sick and tired of how that toilet looks. So then you decide one day, you take the tissue to and you're like, uh-uh. I'm not doing that. Freddie, come over here. I got something to show you. <laughs> Once I showed Freddie, he was like, babe, I'm so sorry. And he then did? He, and then after that, it was done. It was a wrap. When, does, always... when, does, when does that happen? Because you, that hasn't you, happened yet for how me. Is, how is Adam? Have you showed him? <laughs> Uh-oh. I haven't showed him. The thing is, I am always cleaning up after him and my children, yeah. and I do like to clean, so maybe I am enabling him to continue to yes, have his yeah. mess. But this is the weirdest thing about my husband, you guys. He finds comfort in having an organized mess. Oh, I've met ones like that, yeah. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Explain, explain. Yeah. He likes things to be messy, but it's organized to him. He doesn't want anybody touching his mess because he knows exactly where everything is. Yeah, that would drive me crazy because I need things lined up.
Yeah. My OCD I makes can't. me line things up. And that's what I did. So I would go in there and be like, oh, wait, no, no, no. And he'd be like, no, where's my, where's my razor? I'm like, it's where the razor is supposed to be. He's like, no, 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 no. I want it in this little cup right here. So you guys, it would be six years that we've been married this mm -hmm. year. And it goes by so fast, eh? And my name is Tamara Mori Housley, and I quit. I'm just gonna let him continue to do him. Ooh, Cause it's on right. his side. Do you? And I have my clean side. Yeah. <laughs> and as long as he doesn't touch my clean side, <laughs> and I don't touch his organized mess side, we're happy. Tamara, we're you're happy. so generous. I, I know. Well, yeah. that's the purpose of marriage is compromise, I think. I think yeah. you learn to accept person, a person's yes. faults. But that's so. the only mess that I will accept. Oh, you ain't gonna accept all the other stuff? No. <laughs> that's just it. Because yeah. it's, it's his space. It's his bathroom, you know? That's where he gets ready in the morning, and he likes it. Oh, wow. so... Uh, that is good. Bad. What? what? <laughs> well, well, some people are fighting with their partner over the bathroom. Single millennials are fighting with each other over an entirely new problem. Cracked phones. A new survey done by Match.com revealed that singles nowadays don't like people who have a cracked phone. What? An old phone <laughs> or those who use a clicking sound when typing. How old are these people? <laughs> millennials. Oh my God. So would you ladies ever judge someone if their phone wasn't pretty enough? Why are you looking like that? Because I like the clicking sound on my phone. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh, no. my God, you're that girl that sits there going, click, 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 why? I'm not alone. There's three people clapping. There's more than three people. I saw like ten. You lose the thank you. But why? Why it's do you just guys like sound. it? See, the sound is calming. Has anyone ever asked you to take the click off because yeah. it's annoying? Yeah. Yeah. But I do have to admit, if, do you ever see a celebrity and like you go to an event and you see them with a cracked phone, you're like, ooh. You low key be judging them. Yeah, And yes, I've yes. been that person, right. not a celebrity, yeah, but I've just been the person that's had a cracked phone. Somebody don't have insurance, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, but every no. single person, every single person has dropped their phone sometime in their that's life. True. And what happens after you drop it, no matter how bashed and bunk it looks, you just kind of try to save it and you think you can deal with it. So Until you, you can it. get it fixed, at least. But sometimes yes. that takes a day or two and you're walking around with a cracked phone and it looks nuts and you feel like people are judging you and they are. <laughs> well, I mean, because it happened to me. Remember, I went over to your house. What was it? Uh, Thanksgiving. And mm -hmm. I dropped my phone. Mm -hmm. And it was Thanksgiving, so it was the holiday. So yeah. I, you had to wait. get it fixed. And I had to wait. And I kept making, you know, excuses. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm getting it fixed tomorrow. It took me like three weeks to get it fixed because oh. I was so busy. So I kept telling everybody, oh, I, it just cracked yesterday. It just cracked. Yeah. I didn't want people judging me. Yeah. yeah. Ugh, Did you, you know. ever, like, get used to it? Like, for me, yeah. when I cracked my phone, after a while, I was just like, oh, I don't see a crack. But other people did. Yeah. 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 Right? It can be okay. dangerous. Sometimes you don't notice the crack anymore, yep. but with that swiping of the finger, you can actually you cut, cut your finger. Oh, my God. That's happened. And crazy question. What? what? I know how we judge Jeannie with her Samsung. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're going to let that go. But Jeannie, have you ever judged somebody who had, like, an older model of a phone? Oh, like, yeah. Like, we're right now with the iPhone 7. The iPhone 4. It's like, like... So front. Okay. I feel so bad. But I'm not going to let you low-key diss all my <laughs> Androidians in the house. Android? No. Android? No. Yes. Yeah, no. how can she hit us up like that? I'm not gonna well, lie. Well, guess what? I we don't have that problem. When I exchange numbers with somebody, and then I go to text them, or I tell them, text me, and that green bubble pops up, I feel some type of way. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm but like, then ugh. when you guys take a picture, and when you take a picture, and the pixels aren't as dope as how an Android looks, when we look crisp, I know. No. The iPhone no. 7 the best. picture. Best. IPhone 7 iPhone pictures 7 are amazing. Pictures are amazing. They're so great. I know where my people are. And I'm are. the last word in iPhone 7 pictures are amazing.